High point, JXP, 10 millimeter. Let's see how it does. All right, hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a newer High Point JXP 10 millimeter. This thing is heavy, it's new from High Point. I picked this up locally for 200 bucks. And they, they have some enhancements with the JXP 10 millimeter that they don't have with their other handguns. Let's first look at the slide, you'll notice that there are slide serrations, a little bit thinner cut, both forward and rear slide serrations. The slide has a bevel in there. Instead of a little more squared off, it has a little bevel in there. Kind of gives it an ergonomic feel. It is a threaded barrel, the 5.2 inch barrel. They also make the non-threaded with the 4.5 inch barrel, but this has a threaded barrel with a 5.2 inch barrel. Check out that grip texturing. That's a bit different. It also has some uh, horizontal serrations with the back strap and the front strap. Little groove right there for the ergonomic feel. 50 ounces is what this weighs. And it has a full Picatinny rail. I would guess the trigger would measure right around six and a half pounds. And that's what you're looking at. Three dot sights, red in the rear. Uh, yellow in the front and the front post is interchangeable with Glock so you can put a night sight on there Make it a little bit better. The thumb safety is larger and it also has a magazine disconnect So without the mag in there The trigger will not fire you throw the mag in and It will you're looking at a 10 round magazine It's the same magazine as the 10 millimeter carbine and they do include one. Now I said I picked it up for 200 bucks. Where can you find a 10 millimeter handgun for 200 bucks? Even, that's, that's a pretty crazy price. Overall, it's heavy. Now, High Point says this is optic ready. Well, it is, but there are th some things to consider. This whole rear sight this piece right here will come off. You may see there are some nuts in there. You pull those off. You have to get a aftermarket Picatinny rail that will drop in. You'll lose your rear sight. I actually lost my rear sight anyway. See the red dot there? And the red dot kind of popped out <laughs> the back. I may just chip out the red and go with black sights. They call that combat sights. But you would have to put an aftermarket Picatinny rail and then put the red dot on and you have to get a red dot that will mount to a Picatinny rail and that would put it pretty high up. So no intentions of doing that. But the, the thread threaded barrel is nice and the price is nice. Now a lot of people like to beat up on high point. And I'm gonna keep talking when I load these 200 grain bonded soft points made by Federal called Fusion, and there they are. We'll see if this thing could run these. But High Point, you, know, you have to give them a little bit of credit. When they, they were around back before Sky, before Taurus became more reliable, before Diamondback and some of these other budget handguns, High Point was around. High Point brought a lot of people to the shooting world. Back in the day and even today. Now you look at those other models and they're fine. I'm a fan of budget guns, but who makes a 10 millimeter now for 200 bucks? Nobody. And so for that, um, I'm still thankful to High Point for, for doing that. And they have great customer service. I, I once took a, I believe it's called the CP380 and I dragged it behind a vehicle as a reliability test. And it was all beat up and I sent it back to High Point and they did replace it. Yeah, it's made of pot metal. It's cheap because a lot of the, well, all the parts are made right in their factory from High Point. I've got six rounds of Federal Fusion bonded soft points. Let's see how it does. I'm putting that front sight just a hair high to, to make contact about 10 yards away here. And 
there goes my there goes my target. I have a single target out here because the ground is still very frozen. To drive stake through it is near impossible. Okay, I'm noticing with those, I have to shoot a little bit higher. More like a 12 o'clock hold. So I'm gonna load two up real quick. Once again, Federal Fusion, bonded, soft points. I'm gonna use the 12 o'clock hold, see how I do. Yeah, so the 200 grain, I go a little bit higher with my point of aim. But there it is, high point, 10 millimeter, you have to drop the mag to release the slide. Disassemble, mm, not really fun. Heavy, 50 ounces. You know, that's that's like a, a heavy duty 1911 all steel frame. Pot metal, yeah, possibly. 200 bucks all day long. The high point, 10 millimeter. Getting it done at the range. Nice enhancements overall. I'm pretty happy I got it. So there it is. High point GXP 10 millimeter. Not bad. I think I need a little more practice with it, but I'm certainly glad I have it. For 200 bucks, you really can't go wrong. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.